I sweat, I'm sick, doubled over in pain, crying. The only way I can describe it is like someone's got a chain wrapped around my stomach and it's just getting tighter and tighter. My name's Anna. My name is Charlotte. I suffer with endometriosis. I suffer with endometriosis. And, and here, here is, is our story. story. I was 11 years old when I started my periods. Um, they were heavy, erratic, um, painful periods from the get-go. You know, I'd be sat in class and, you know, I'd just start bleeding. It would happen on the chair, I'd have to run to the toilet and ring my mum. Could not get out of bed when I was um, having a period. I was passing out, being sick. I can't move, I feel faint. It affects my whole body. No one was listening at that age. The GP said, you know, look, this is normal for girls of your age. You just need to lose weight. And it kept happening, so we kept going back. To be continually told by doctors that it was just part and parcel of being a woman. Uh, when I was 17, I got rushed in to a local hospital and they ended up brushing me for surgery. And that's when they said, you know, you've got endometriosis. Ended up as an emergency having my appendix out. Came out of that surgery and he said, you've got endometriosis, but it's not my speciality. So you need to go back to see a gynecologist. And she flatly refused to agree with any of, of his findings. Here in Wales, you have to have endometriosis elsewhere in your body to see a specialist. So I ended up having to pay private to see the specialist, who then gave me an MRI scan and then put me on his NHS list. But at the same point, I've got to wait six and a half years of surgery. Now, I'm incredibly lucky that I had my dad's private health insurance and he took me to a specialist in Birmingham and he found that I had stage four endometriosis. It destroyed my bowel to the point I needed a bowel resection and I was diagnosed two weeks before my 18th birthday. We know how much we suffer and unless you're living with endometriosis, then there's no way that they can understand I've had 14 surgeries now. It's left me with a permanent stoma bag. I've got a long-term catheter. And it's difficult because you don't get offered any mental health support at all. You know, I started self-harming when I was 19 and I never got any form of support from the GPs. They kind of just left me to it. I had a radical hysterectomy in November last year. Fighting with yourself through that emotion because at 28 no one should have to have all their reproductive organs removed. I don't go out with my friends as much. I have to cancel regularly and it's little things as such. Going to the park with my daughter. What do we do when mommy's got a body belly? We cuss. Every day is a struggle and I'm constantly doubting myself. We need funding to go into women's health in general. It's constantly put to the bottom of the pile. You're trying to improve your quality of life. So change needs to happen and they need to do something about it now.